Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. In this episode, Ruby Snack 13, we will continue our series Deploy to Digital Ocean. This is part two, where we will install additional programs. In this episode, you'll learn how to install Postgres and set up the databases, install ImageMagick if you have Paperclip in your app, install Apache, and install Passenger. We'll be using Apache and Passenger to serve up your app. If you want to code along, you'll just need a virtual private server or VPS set up. We're using DigitalOcean in this mini course. If you need to set that up, be sure to check out the first in our series, Ruby Snack number 12, for part one where we create a droplet and install Ruby from source. First up is installing Postgres. We'll SSH into the production server, then install Postgres. So we'll use this line right here to install Postgres and all of its dependencies. Then we will create a Postgres user and then open the Postgres SQL interactive terminal, which was simply PSQL. Then you'll create a user that is the same as your user on the server. So in this tutorial, we have been using deploy as our user that is going to deploy the app. You would use whatever user you've created for deploy. And then we're gonna create a password for it. And since our theme this mini series is Battleship Galactica, here's a little nod to the baddies, the Cylons. Next, we need to create a staging and production databases. In this tutorial, we'll be having both environments. Then we'll grant the permissions to the deploy user. Then we'll exit the interactive terminal and exit the Postgred user. Opening up our terminal, I've already SSH'd into my server and now I've copy pasted that line to install Postgres. And that's pretty simple, doesn't take too long. Now I'll make that Postgres user and then go into PS. QL and see that it's a different type of terminal right there. So now let's create the user with the password Cylon123 and then create a staging database, create a production database, and now we're going to grant the privileges on both staging and production. Oh, I made a little mistake there. It needs the copy paste didn't like my quotation marks, so let's put those in correctly. Great. Just hit that up arrow and now make it production. Now we just need to exit with backslash Q and then we need to exit the Postgres user by simply typing in exit. The next step I'm going to include is installing image magic if needed. This is an optional step you wouldn't want to install it if you're not going to be using Paperclip and uploading images in your app. It's just that so often that is included in apps that I'm working on that I thought I'd go ahead and put it in this tutorial. It's a very simple process. You just need to copy this command into your terminal and you're done. Jumping back to our terminal, go ahead and paste that command in. It takes a little bit of time, so I've sped it up a little bit here for you, but it's very important for processing images. Moving right along, it's time to install Apache, which is a very important program and yet takes just that little bitty line. Here we are back in our terminal to paste in that simple line. Now, if it's been a minute, you will have to retype in your password, depends where you are in the process. And then yes, let's confirm we do want to install Apache. It actually doesn't take very long at all either. And we're done. Our final step for this episode is to install Passenger. Even though it's not hard to install Passenger, it does take a lot of little steps. So first up is to install the key for the repository server, then create an app source file. Then we'll insert the following line in that file. We will control X to exit and type Y to save the file and then press enter to confirm the file location. So that's basically what you need to do anytime you're working on nano in a terminal. So that's a way you can edit a file right there in your terminal. Then we'll change the owner and permissions of the file to root. We'll update the app cache, which is good to do anyway. Then we'll install passenger. Yay. Then we will enable the Passenger Apache module, which may already be enabled, but just in case. Then finally, we restart Apache. Let's get started, pasting in the very first command to get that key. Next up, we'll open up Nano, 
and we will paste in that one line. So then I'm controlling X, Y, enter, and that's done. Then the next step to change the permissions. So it's only in root, so we can't change it. Now we'll sudo app get update. Just takes a little bit of time. Updating all of the packages and done. Then the next step of installing Passenger. Yes, we would like to install. So this takes just a little bit of time, not too long. And yep, there we go. Next, we're going to make sure it's enabled, and it already is. And we will restart Apache. And that's it. That's it for part two of this mini series. Here's a quick look at the resources that I used to create this tutorial. I used the DigitalOcean tutorial about Passenger and Apache. Unfortunately, I can't find my notes on the Postgres, so apologies for that lovely person who put that together that I've taken and used many times. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for future episodes. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking that button right there. And if you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign up for more Ruby Thursday awesomeness. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.